In this video, I'm going to show you a few more things that you can do with relief clip art. So let me bring in a piece of relief clip art first of all. So open up the relief clip art menu and let's do something simple like this leaf that I've got here. So I'm going to maybe rotate that around like so. Let's make it a bit smaller. Let's say something like that okay now you notice that i've just done this just a little bit off center so let's close the relief clip art library and let's drop down the height let's say like so and i'm going to take a plan view of this now relief clip art before you paste them down and they're this blue color you can do pretty much anything that you can do with a vector, okay? So if I close the transform tool, you'll notice that I've still got a blue piece of floating clip art. And I can still move this about, I can still go back into the transform tool. But what I'd like to do is use one of the vector editing tools on this piece of clip art. Now you'll notice that the outline is actually a vector. So if we do anything to this, it will update and create a copy of the clip art. So this is how you can create your own designs using just simple elements within the relief clip art library. So let's say, let's do something really basic like mirror objects. So this is what you would normally use on a vector. So let's copy the original objects and I'm going to go across the model. Okay, and it creates a copy. Let's undo that. And let's use some fill tools. So if I go to block and rotate copy, let's do a rotational copy. Let's do, let's say, five of them to start with. Make sure that you select it and apply. And you can see that I'm sort of created a new flower for me. Can undo that. Let's make it lots and lots, let's say 20, and it goes round. And then what I can do once I'm happy with that, just press enter on the keyboard and it will paste it down. And you can see that I've created quite a nice relief just by using one of the leaves and then copying it around. Okay, so you can also undo that. So I can then go back. So whilst these are blue clip art now, I can move them around still. So each one of these is separate. So if I wanted to, I could move that one, let's say, maybe move that one, go into transform, move that around, just so I can make it a little bit different and it's a little bit more organic. Okay, I can drop this up or down if I wanted to. So let's maybe make all of these ones, maybe every other one, drop down. Okay, so you get the gist. So if I select all of those and paste that down, you can see that I've made some of them smaller. Now that doesn't look amazing because I've just done that really quickly, but you get the idea of what you can create. So if I undo that, you can undo through all of these steps as well. So I can keep on going back until the point where I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've gone right the way back to there. Now, if I wanted to, I could redo that. So it's like that. Let's say that I wanted to delete that one. I can select that one, delete that one, maybe that one. like so, and I can start deleting certain ones and then paste them down. Let's undo that. I'll just press Control Z on the keyboard just to undo. And what I can also do is select all of them. Let's maybe deselect the original one, delete that. Okay, now you can also do an array copy. So for this particular example, it's not really going to create what I want, but I'm just going to show you how to use it. So if I do a block and rotate copy, 
exactly the same thing as what you would do with the vectors. Let's say that I wanted to create four copies of these and let's say the gap is going to be only 0.1. And then select apply. And you can see that it creates copies of these. And then what I can do is just exactly the same, just paste these there. Most of the editing tools, let's say to create a mirror, you can create the fill tools, block and rotate copy, and also paste along a curve. These can all be used on blue floating clip art. Now what you've got to watch is once you paste these down and then they become yellow, you can't do anything with them then. Okay, you have to undo, go back to blue floating clip art. Okay, so that's another way that you can work with relief clip art.